so guys the dev was just updated a uh, very small update and i just noticed some little things that were added so let's talk about them uh if you notice anything else let me know in the comments but these are the major things that i find found uh it is kind of hard to find stuff because you have to test everything that you already saw like again right to actually see but the first thing is this new vehicle guys uh, apparently only one new vehicle okay no uh, thailand thai um harrier yet but uh the icv is here which is oddly similar to the rcv right because it is technically the same vehicle guys it just doesn't have the things back here and stuff uh i don't think for now at least it doesn't have it uh for for like the um I don't know what's the name of this thing, but the, these things here, right? The cameras and stuff. It might actually appear later. Uh, right now, it isn't, right? Appearing. So uh, I don't know exactly if it's going to be added or not because the vehicle doesn't seem finished. That, as you see, I mean, the, the textures and everything is not really ready, right? But of course, it is going to be pretty much the same vehicle. Uh, it does have the APF-SDS, which is pretty good. It really is a good round, especially for a 30 millimeter. Uh, it has uh, thermal systems for everybody, including the driver for now, which is funny. Laser warning systems uh, and everything with that, of course. So let's test drive it a little bit. It's at 9.7, as you see maybe the game might actually the game might actually like explode here because i'm having some issues lately with crashes using the x12 but it might be just my my graphic card just not handling too much graphics but yeah i, I think it's fine but yeah as you see yeah it's not really ready i mean the wheels are not even turning see so it's not really ready, but you get the idea, right? So it's a very mobile tank. It has the 30 millimeter, which is a pretty good one. You have the thermos. Come on. Can you die, driver? Yeah. <laughs> so you can kill these tanks in a certain areas, you know, of course. It does penetrate well uh, from the side and stuff. It's pretty much the same as we already have. You have the machine gun and you do have the tracker, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you do have the tracker, right? I mean, I'm using APF STS here, but you get the idea. Yeah, it's not going to do any damage whatsoever. But yeah, I think I killed it. Yeah, I ripped his wing off. So yeah, very interesting tank, but uh, it is the same as we already have pretty much. Just a, you know, a prototype variant of it, okay? So let's move on to the next thing. The F-15 has an interesting thing. I didn't realize that. I don't know if they added or not. But if you don't take these pods, guys, the countermeasure pods, you basically don't take countermeasures with the F-15E. I don't know if this was before here. I just wanted to let you guys know uh, because I just realized that if you just flew with anything uh like for with nothing there you would basically have nothing not even the rw uh the the chaff and countermeasures right which is pretty weird i gotta say but yeah and here we have it the thing that i wanted to show to you guys the cockpit of the f-15e is here guys it's not ready as you see the buttons they don't have textures and stuff and it's working progress that screen there is not working yet um there are some weird things happening but as you see there are some interesting things that are like working like the clocks and uh these things uh very cool the new hud is here of course the white hud it is kind of odd that i think it's kind of wrong right the um the actual like image of the hud is the older image but the hud itself is the new one so i'm pretty sure it's different because why would you actually put out a wider hud and not use the wider hood right so <laughs> it's kind of funny but yeah at least they are adding um the cockpit and it looks pretty good it's, i mean it's not ready yet but uh, it looks pretty good i mean this part will probably be fixed it looks like just a repetition from the actual radar um screen there it should be like a proper mfd uh here as well uh it feels too big and it's kind of weird but yeah the rwr 
should be reworked a little bit so there are little things here and there but here it is the cockpit of the f-15e which is a pretty interesting cockpit because it's very very much modernized we are getting to the digital age indeed the glass cockpit age even with the fourth generations uh, that are older right so the f-15e is actually getting um a very very cool cockpit uh, and as i said for you to actually be able to have the chef and flare you got to use the um the little thing on the pod still i mean it's there you see, you can see the chefs and flares but you cannot fire them unless you have the thing so i don't have flares now i can click and nothing will happen i don't know if it's a bug or if it's just the way that it's supposed to be but uh yeah very cool right and the su-34 also received kind of a fix that was kind of needed uh, the actual TV system now it is uh, a little bit more useful. I don't know if you remember I showed to you guys in the SU-34 video that it was pretty useless unless we had like a thunderstorm or very very dark situations uh, when you use the thing. So now it's fixed, it, right? It is still pretty like look at this. It's pretty bright uh, in certain situations, but at least in the normal circumstances you are still at least able to like see stuff, right? So let me just turn the aircraft around over here and yeah now you can actually properly see stuff um, you need it to be really really dark before to actually see anything so now it's the, just a normal battle and I think it's 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 a little bit better to actually look at stuff look at this this looks cool doesn't it <laughs> it's so cool yeah so yeah and the last thing that I wanted to show to you guys, one of the things that I actually found, um, I tested most of the vehicles, I couldn't find anything else that was too important to show. Um, normally the Monday update of the dev server is the smallest one, but now we don't have thermals anymore with the scimitar, so yeah, good luck in the night battle. We don't have any night visions, we don't have any thermal systems, you are completely blind. <laughs> but uh, yeah. It's an interesting thing, I gotta say. I don't even see the, the tank right there. It's difficult to hit the thing. You gotta go with the with the thing there. But yeah, guys, uh, you get the idea, right? Um, no thermals anymore for the scimitar. But yeah, guys, basically this is it. It's the only things that I found. Of course, there are probably other things. Uh, I just couldn't find it. So you let me know in the comments if there is anything I missed. Um, let's see if the dev is updated again today or maybe only tomorrow uh, or later. So yeah, I see you guys on the next one. Make sure to subscribe, click the like button. Always helps a lot. Leave a comment and I see you guys on the next one. Bye. See you.